Now that is the AMG GT XX concept car, but it's not just any concept car because it's actually really important and interesting. So stay with us. I'm Jordan and you're watching Auto Express. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking this is just an AMG version of something like a Porsche Taycan, right? Well, kind of right, but rather than this being sort of like a sleek saloon, this is actually more of like a four-door supercar. So let's talk about the design because first of all, it's pretty impressive, isn't it? This doesn't really look like a contemporary Mercedes in the traditional way. Yes, it has the big Panamericana grille, but actually it kind of defines the entire car's front end in much the same way that the 011 concept did a little while ago. The headlights are also nice and slim and quite supercar looking, but we do think that these are gonna grow a little bit for the production car, which we know is gonna have a three-pointed sort of star motif. Along the side, you can see that the body itself is actually really streamlined in a really good way. They haven't gone down the route of putting on the super flared wheel arches. Yes, it's got big shoulders, but it is very clean and sleek. Now, of course, there are a few concept car flourishes. These 21 inch wheels actually have active aero veins in the spokes, which is pretty cool. This sill here is actually luminescent and will light up depending on the charge and that sort of thing, although it's not switched on for now. Around the back, however, this thing is really slick. We've got these sort of triple round tail lights, which are really cool. And we do ex actually expect to see in production. Now the center bit, which is a sort of dot matrix, that's probably less likely, but the overall thought process will be the same. You probably also noticed it doesn't have a rear screen. That also is expected to be changed for production. We do think this car is going to have a piece of glass, unlike a bunch of new Polestars, but inherently, I think it looks pretty aggressive and very streamlined. And that's the whole point of it, really the e-motors, of which there are three, and they're called axial flux motors, and they work in a completely different way to most electric motors that you find in most production cars today. The result is, is that despite the fact that this car is a concept car, the numbers we're told are pretty close to what we'll get in the sort of high-end production models. And we're being told a total peak power of 1,360 horsepower, which is enormous. Now those motors themselves are also incredibly clever because they're about 67% lighter than a comparable e-motor, about 67% shorter than a current e-motor, yet have three times the power density and two times the torque density, which is insane. In terms of the battery that's powering them, we haven't been told specific figures yet, but it can charge at up to 850 kilowatts. I can't really think of any charges in the UK that are above 350 at the moment so this car does feel a little bit ahead of its time in terms of future proofing but that is an insane number and we're told it can allow for up to 400 kilometers of range in about five minutes of charging time. So tech wise all very good. So inside of course this is once again a concept but you kind of get the idea with what AMG is wanting to do. Now there's a few details that I really do want to show you straight away. This is an electric car, there is no motor and yet the dashboard is finished in this kind of crackled finish plastic which is meant to evoke the sort of cam covers that you would see on an ice car specifically from something like a Ferrari. The center console and the dashboard are all really cleverly designed. There's these sort of like glowing tubes and sort of heat exchanges that you can see on a lot of the detailing. Look it's all flourish it's all styling but it's really cool the thing that you notice in here as well is that it's quite small now i'm a pretty small guy and even i have ugh, some issues ooh, getting in this also gives us a pretty good idea of what to expect for the production car when it eventually does arrive now this sort of yoke steering wheel is something that we know mercedes-benz is working on we don't quite know whether it's going to be applicable to this amg model though however the displays are now in front of us we've got a 10.25 inch display and then a 14 inch touchscreen here in the center which is very subtly angled towards us which is really cool underneath you've got these big vents that if you kind of crane your head around the side of the screen can see kind of loop up into the main of the dash along with the vents there which is actually super cool and these bucket seats which are very concept car -y, full carbon shell with these sort of clever padding inside mercedes amg has gone into all sorts of detail about all of the sort of recycled materials and all of the cool design flourishes that we might see on the production car but for now it actually works really well now are you looking to buy a new car well not this one obviously just know that you can actually sell your old one at autoexpress.co.uk click the link in the description below and we'll run you through the process as for space in the back, well, look, we can't get into the back seats in this concept car, but judging by sitting in the front seat, it probably will be a bit of a tight fit. But really, that's not what this car's about. This car is about ultimate, incredible performance. It just happens to have four doors. Now, of course, a big four-door EV sports car is something that not everyone seems to be particularly thrilled about buying these days, but we do genuinely think this is going to be a landmark moment, not just for AMG, but for EVs in general. I actually can't wait to have a go, and that says a lot, considering it's an EV. Now, obviously, this is a concept car, which means that we can't actually tell you what it's going to be like to drive, nor can anyone really. 
but we are really excited about what this might mean for high performance EVs for AMG in the future. This isn't just another car with a bigger battery and more powerful motors. This is a new way of doing things and it makes us really excited for the future. I also think it looks pretty cool. I think that's also quite important.